Oh, that's so good! <laughs> it's so <t> <laughs> Oh, hello. I'm coming at you looking like a knockoff dollar store inside era Bo Burnham with a very important announcement. I have decided to run away from everything. That's right. I'm running away from this confusing modern world deep into the woods, never to return again. And I'm taking you with me. And you might be wondering, what could bring me to such a choice? What could make a man like me abandon his lavish life of luxury here in Los Angeles, California? His 2006 Prius that never was. Works. His shower that he just kind of fits in. Well, I'll tell you. But first, let me say this. I know I look insane right now. Okay, there. I said it. My beard and hair situation is part of why I'm running away into the woods. And I'll tell you more about that in a second. But yeah, I just want to say I know I look terrible. And I said it before you could think it or at least dwell on it. So now it's normal and totally fine because that's how that works. Quick life lesson. People can't say mean things about you if you beat them to it first. That's right, I learned that as a kid while watching the hit 2002 film 8 Miles starring Eminem. And if you've seen it, you know the scene I'm referring to. And if you haven't, then don't worry about it. But anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yes, oh, right. Why I'm running away into the woods? Let me, I'll tell you now, why? You see, <coughs> I'm not a religious man per se, but if I were to try to categorize myself into any form of spirituality that has a word, it would probably be the word agnostic, which is a fancy word that people have come up with that basically means I don't know what to believe in, so I kind of just believe in everything that exists. Every god, witches, ghosts, simulation theory, Gaia, cosmic deities, Zeus, aliens, every heaven, nirvana, whatever, <laughs> everything. I believe literally believe in everything. Being agnostic is like, I'll just die and see what happens, lol. <laughs> and look, I know that might seem very off topic, but it's not. It all has to do with why I'm running away, I swear. Because what I'm getting at here is that I'm not gonna try to figure out what cosmic forces are at play, but something is trying to tell me to leave my house slash current modern life right now, okay? Because all of the following has occurred in just the last week alone. My Hogwarts fell. And it broke! That's a sign too! I'm telling you! No! Damn it! Oh god! And that's part of it, okay? And this is all part of it! I'm not going mad. That's part of what I'm trying to say. Ugh. Okay, sorry. All of the following has occurred. On top of that, all of the following has occurred in just the last week alone. Item number one. My car was stolen. Kind of. Ish. I will explain. A few nights ago, a thief in the night crawled under my 2006 Prius with a handheld power saw and they stole a part of my vehicle called the catalytic converter, which I have since learned is alone worth more than my entire car and rendered the car useless. So if you think about it, they kind of stole my whole car and maybe they wanted to do that too, but they probably took one look at my car and went, nah, I'm good. So what's left of my car is in the shop yet again, where I'm told it will remain for many weeks based on a shortage of supply, which is based on a radical uptick in catalytic converter theft here in Los Angeles. So hey, if you've ever had dreams of moving to Los Angeles before, I've got some stellar advice for you. Don't. 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 But that's not all. Remember, that was just item number one reason why something is trying to make me leave my house. Item number two. I accidentally dropped my phone in the sink and it short circuited and died. There's not that much to say about this. I tried to prop up my phone in like the medicine cabinet above the sink while I was brushing my teeth because I was I was watching Cowboy Bebop and I wanted to continue watching Cowboy Bebop while I was brushing my teeth and I don't know what happened. Somehow it ended up in the sink and it instantly died. So no phone. I don't have a phone anymore. So no car, no phone. Oh Garrett, you can get by, right? No wrong. We're still on the list. Item number three. My fridge gave up. Just stopped working completely or at least the fridge half did. For some reason the freezer part still works but that, 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 that's useless to me. I'm not going to reach in and just eat frozen berries. Okay? I need the fridge part in order to live a life. Item number four. And this one isn't that big of a deal, but I'm gonna say it in a dramatic way to make it seem like a bigger deal just to add to the, the drama of the video. But the place that I usually get my hair cut at has been closed for renovations for two months. And yes, I know, I live in Los Angeles and I could go to a hundred other places that cut hair, but I don't want to because the place that I go, they always play Erica Badu music. They have a huge bowl of completely free Bitto Honey candies in there. And the woman who cuts my hair talks shit about her kids while she cuts my hair and I think that's funny. So just to review, no car, no phone, no fridge, and I can't even get my hair cut and my Hogwarts broke. Something is telling me to get out. So I figure, hey, 
Why not lean into this right now with 0% preparation for the journey? I'm just gonna leave it all behind because to tell you the truth, I am always fighting the urge to get primal and go like run away into the woods. It's weird. I never talk about that, but I always want to do that. So we're leaving. We're gonna go run away right now. I don't, do you even hear that? The freezer part of the fridge is making very weird sounds right now. That's, stop it, it's taunting me. Ah. But before we run away into nature together, we need to figure out three very important things. Uh, item number one, I don't know where to is nature. I don't know where to, to go. I, I live in the middle of Los Angeles. So we need to do a little bit of research to figure out where to go. Second thing is I need to gather whatever supplies I have right here in my house right now for the journey. And lastly, I need to gather some knowledge on how not to literally die in the woods alone. And I think a fantastic place to start for gathering knowledge would be with Skillshare sponsorship segue. Alley oop, that's right. I'm taking one minute to shout out this video's incredible sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creative and curious people where you can explore new skills, develop existing interests, and get lost in creativity. I promise you that without the ability to learn on the internet, this channel would not exist at, at all. <laughs> and Skillshare makes it so comically easy to learn almost anything you can imagine. Editing, animation, crafting, bicycle repair, piano, come on, everyone loves the piano. Illustration. Fine art, so you can put your paintings in museums. So many things. I got started on Skillshare by watching a wilderness survival course, so I, you know, don't die in this video. But on a way less morbid note, I've recently been watching Thomas Frank's organization course called Productivity for Creatives. Because if you watch my channel, you know that I am in need of all the help I can get in that department. I need so, I need so much help there. Anyways, there's no ads on Skillshare, and from beginner to expert to everything in between, there will be constantly updated courses waiting for you. Skillshare Skillshare even has real-time live classes where you can connect with an incredible community of members and teachers alike. I adore Skillshare, and here's something fun. The first thousand of my subscribers that click the link in the description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare so that you can start exploring your creativity today. And I want to see what you make, so I hope you do this. Thanks, Skillshare. I sure do love you. Okay, right now, I need to figure out where to go to escape LA. I don't know. I don't know. Where, I, need to figure, I need to figure it out. Computer time. <laughs> Not me eating room temperature grapes, researching how to escape Los Angeles. <laughs> Right, sorry. Right, so as I said earlier, we need to do a little bit of research to figure out like where to go to find nature. Like I need to figure out where my new life is because I live right in LA and I don't, I don't know where to like to go, <laughs> to, to go to nature. So to the internet. All right, uh, Google the, well, right? <laughs> I didn't know that my search history would be exposed. Listen, I needed to know if there was a, a kids bot version of DNA by Kendrick Lamar. There's not. It was very disappointing to me. Okay, focus gear. Where are woods? <laughs> no, oh, sorry. Well, okay, where are woods by LA with no bears? Or at least, this is important, or at least no bad bears like the ones from the Revenant or Over the Hedge search. <laughs> That's weird. It didn't bring up anything. Wait, was there even a bear in Over the Hedge? Was there a bear in over the hedge. Yep, a greedy bear. Pass, don't want that kind. How to escape LA. No, Kurt Russell, get out of here. Although there is a really sick surfing scene from that movie. <laughs> Okay, 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 sorry. Focus, okay, okay. Woods by LA. No, now I'm on a site with camping reservations. It's a .gov, I don't want this. I don't want to do reservations and .govs and .coms and all this stuff that's so systematic and planned. I just want to escape. Oh, that deer's good though. <laughs> I am hoping to see him. Okay, Oak Wild Campground, that sounds perfectly pleasant, man. It's closed. Hoji's Camp Truck, closed. Ugh. Close, close, close. I don't want to go to a campground. If I go to a Los Angeles campground, it's gonna be terrible. There's just gonna be little kids running around screaming about how they don't even want to be there and they just want to get ice cream from like a weirdly specific and very expensive ice cream store. And I don't want to make reservations because that's too complicated. <laughs> God, I need some grapes. Oh, grapes are so good. The internet can't help me with this. I'm too dependent on the internet. The internet did not help me. Reservations, you know, LA campgrounds, pass. All right, well that was useless as shit. I'll just go, no look at this, this is where I live, and then I'll just go, I'll go north. That area, okay, is where the woods are. I know how to go north, I'll figure it out. I'll just, I'll find nature, okay? I'm a man, I can do this. It's, there's nothing under there, but imagine there is. <laughs> Right? Okay. Um, so next up is supplies. Here's the thing. I don't want to go around to like stores right now and go get like a bunch of supplies for like the wilderness. That would be just camping. <laughs> like I don't, I don't want to do that. The point of this video is just to, you know, it's a primal trip. So I just have to leave with whatever I have here in my house. But luckily for me, I, I'm sorry, I'm holding a sword. <laughs> I do that a lot actually, kind of subconsciously. We will be taking this by the way, spoiler alert. Anyways, we're just going to be leaving right now with whatever supplies I have right here in my house, which if you know me as a person at all, you know that I don't suffer
suffer from a lack of things. I have so many things, so I should be okay. Right, so let's go gather our supplies so that I can become a primal nature man. Sword catch! Ouch! This first aid kit right here that I've had since 2008, it doesn't, it, it, it just has what I would describe as some band-aids in it. Next up, my Boy Scout handbook right here. I've had it since 2002. That's how I used to sign my name. And yeah, I keep it right here in my cabinet of curiosities, which uh, is qu is quite literally just a cabinet full of uh, dead things. But it's not weird because I said it's not weird. Right, Boy Scout handbook. Okay, um, just, okay. All right, next up, a tent, kind of. I don't have a tent right now, but good news, I do have this. That It's like a dinosaur tent that I got for my nephew's birthday when he turned four, but I forgot to send it to him, and now he's almost 10, so sorry, buddy. But good news is that it'll come in handy for me today, and even better news, it came with this. <laughs> Next up, my adult teddy bear. Okay, I know what you're thinking. That sounds pathetic. Wrong! I was having really bad nightmares, so I read on Google about how to stop them, and they said that psychologically buying an adult teddy bear could help. And you know what it did? We're doing great, so don't judge us! I don't want to have nightmares while I'm out in the woods, so <laughs> he's coming with us! Bug spray, which I actually just found, but I'm horrified to learn that it is completely empty. But don't worry, because I have a backup plan. During the fall season, you'll never catch me without a cinnamon broom. It's just a broom that smells like cinnamon, and I learned from from a suspiciously outdated looking website that cinnamon keeps bugs away and mosquitoes. So yeah, this cinnamon broom will have to do for us to keep the mosquitoes away. And will I pretend to fly around on it occasionally like I'm playing a game of Quidditch? No, I will not. I will, off camera. I will I will 100% do that. And then we're gonna bring this uh, full whip that I own. Uh, in case we see a predator, of course. Uh, you know, I can whoosh, cause I'm pretty good with the whip. Now, as for why I own the whip to begin with, uh, I would say don't ask the question if you don't wanna hear the answer. <laughs> And we're bringing this eight foot tall skeleton, which actually doesn't even fit in the frame. I could break his legs and kind of get him in the frame a little bit. Hang on. There he is. Now, why would we bring this along? Well, there's actually a valid reason. Number one is so I don't feel lonely on my adventure. And second reason is to stay festive because it's October after all. So we're going to decorate our little piece of nature that we end up finding. Isn't that right? Oh, that was gross. And you know what? It actually couldn't hurt to give him a friend as well. So I'm gonna grab a, a slightly smaller skeleton that I actually keep in the pool in order to scare away any home intruders. Cause in my imagination, if someone breaks into my place, right? They see this floating in the pool and they go, oh, okay, yeah, next house, please. I don't want to end up like that. So I think it's a pretty effective security measure. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna bring him along as well. Although he does, he has to dry off for a little bit. So, you know, I'll just put him on this hook here. This is a nightmare. <laughs> my, my place looks like a nightmare. I don't know how people haven't called the cops on me yet. And you know what? Honestly, while I'm at it, I figure it couldn't hurt to bring one more. This one is actually one of the smallest skeletons I own, and I, they've, I've been keeping him in the fridge just for uh, fun decoration because all the food is slowly rotting away in the non-functional fridge anyway, so I figured it doesn't matter, you know? Just decorate it for Halloween. Um, I'm considering putting a, a pumpkin in there too, which will, I'll just do it now. Okay, so we'll just throw that bad boy in there, and we will grab him. And actually, this is an empty whipped cream can here. Well, uh, well, got a little bit. That was fun. Yeah, definitely empty now. But we're gonna bring this along too. I just figured maybe this would be a good thing to uh, th to bring along if, if if any bats try to attack us, we can th throw this at them. And don't act like that's not a real thing. If you watched my last video, you know that bats have been kind of a problem in the past. Oh, a bat. <laughs> See, so you know, we run into a bat this time that wants to suck on our blood. This is how it goes down for them. Get lost, bat. Benjamin! Apparently we're bringing Benjamin. I don't really want to and there's actually no practical use of any kind to bring him along on this particular adventure. But a couple hours ago, I found this on the coffee table. It seems to be a crudely written note that says, bring me to woods or no more toes. And Benjamin, does that mean that uh, if I don't bring you along that you're gonna uh, cut off my toes while I sleep? Do I have that about right? Yes. Great. Nice, so we're bringing Benjamin, great. Uh, food, now this one's a, a bit funny because obviously everything in my fridge is slowly decaying, but I've got enough here, look at this. I've got, to, uh, uh, this is what I'll bring food wise. A bag of popcorn that a woman gave me just last summer. Uh, this weird seed bread that I only bought because it looks like what the hobbits eat on their adventure in Lord of the Rings. Mm. Uh, cheese puffs. One bag of seaweed. Two cans of seltzer water. One container of cookies, which to be co completely honest is not a container of cookies. It's a self-defense uh, mechanism in case a serial killer tries to approach us in the woods. I say, come on over here, bear. It's no problem. Here, listen, just take a cookie. And then look at this, right there. Butter knife. Got gotcha, you, bitch. 
All right, I'll be eating good. And then I'm also gonna bring this bear costume that thank God I had on hand. Um, not to wear, of course, that would be weird and senseless. Um, I'm gonna dress up one of the skeletons in it and like set it up so it acts as like a, like a bear scarecrow, you know? So if an actual bear Ooh. comes along, he'll see this bear and go, you know, this one's taken, can't eat this human today. So, does it make sense? And then also I'm gonna bring a high definition projector, a dedicated power source, a portable DVD player, and a copy of Spirited Away on DVD. Just in case nature isn't, you know, like the vibe. Uh, and I'm gonna bring this shovel. Uh, not only because I think a shovel could be useful in nature, but also because uh, there was a spider that used to live in my bathroom window that I would see like every morning. He was very cool, daddy long leg. And yeah, I would just sit there and brush my teeth and I would, you know, we'd just vibe together. And then one day he stopped moving and he passed away. So I went out and I bought him a little coffin. And he's in there, so we're gonna, give him somewhere beautiful as a resting place. I saw him every uh, morning for months, so I'll, I'll miss him, he's great. Oh, also I got him a little gravestone. I'll also bring this keyboard in case I get inspired and wanna make a nature song. Oh yes, I might've forgotten to mention that I ordered an adventure vehicle that got delivered to my place literally like 20 minutes ago. And it's great, it's got tons of features that my 2006 Prius doesn't have um, in the respect that it moves forward, that it can turn on and go forward. So I think it'll do. Well, at this rate, I'd say I'm over-prepared. So adventure, here we come. So let's ditch this joint, run away from the modern world and go live in nature for good or for as long as I can even though I don't know where I'm going and I am frightened and I don't know entirely what I'm what I'm doing but let's go ah my knees ah! pick it up pick it up you see the drippy, I'm fitted up. I'm in my car in the giddy up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. I'm in my car in the giddy up. All right, we're leaving the modern world behind. We're leaving everything behind. Everything is weird and confusing. So I am ready to go. Oh, I am on empty though. You see the drippy, I'm fitted up. Hop in my car and a giddy up. 50. That is a new wand. Oh. I've been on a flex since flex zone. Neighborhood all in your eardrums. I ain't never scared like bone crush. Boy, I got God, don't fear none. My line busy, take no calls. Okay, so I have been driving now for like 20 minutes, and I'm just trying to, you know, stay generally north. And all I see is brown hills. I'm gonna keep on going north until I reach something green and beautiful. I'm already lost, technically speaking. I have no idea where I am or how to get back, but I'm just gonna keep on going because that's all I've ever done in my life. Even when I'm not sure if I'm going the right direction, I just pedal to the metal and I don't stop. Oh, look at that, more brown, dry hills. <laughs> why is it all just desert? I don't understand why it's all just brown. All I'm seeing is brown and cars. The vibe of what I'm seeing right now, it looks like I'm in the first Mummy movie, but I wanna be in like the Mummy Returns vibe. Does anyone know what I mean? In any respect, any of the time ever. Ah! Oh God, I'm in the carpool lane. I don't know how I ended up here. And there's a cop behind me. Where's Andrew Sawicki when you need him? <laughs> oh God, help. Oh, I know. You need two people to drive in the carpool lane. Okay, I don't know how convincing that is. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> that's so good. Okay, great. Now I think I'm technically good for the carpool lane. From behind, it would just look like my, you know, my, my, my grandmother or something. Oh, wonderful. Okay, this is great. Now I have someone to listen to royalty-free music with. All jokes aside, if I get pulled over with this situation, I'm going to prison. Like, I don't, I can't explain any of this. Right, back on the road. Not sure what I'm doing with my entire life, my whole existence, my whole life. But let's keep on going north and see what happens. <laughs> Oh my god, I just found some abandoned stuff. Look at this! You can reupholster these! Perfectly good uh, couch set, you know? There's probably a body in, in, in that. Um. Oh, well, I think it's time to get back on the road. I don't know what those are from. Oh god, what a fun! light-hearted adventure we're on, huh? I will no longer distract myself with things on the side of the road. I will stay focused. I'll keep going north until I find my escape from society. No more distract- Oh my god, I found an aesthetic abandoned trailer. What is this doing here? And can I live in here? Those are my two immediate questions. What? It, who put- Look at the cute knobs. Imagine me cooking up an absolute storm in this kitchen. I think I'm gonna come back and live in this. Okay, I'll be back for you. Okay, I'm sorry. I have to stay focused. I know, I know, I know. Because it's gonna get dark soon, and that can't happen. I won't be too scared. <laughs> god, a haunted little abandoned shack. It's my weakness. It's taking everything I have not to stop. But I'm gonna stay focused. Okay, no joke. I legitimately can't believe that I'm about to say this, but I think this worked. I'm about 100 miles out of Los Angeles, maybe? And it just instantly got gorgeous. Like, exactly what I was thinking. <gasps> I think soon I will be living my, 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 my into the wilderness life. Well, I've done it. <clears throat>
um, seems that Sai So have done it. Mission accomplished. Um, so the past two hours, I've been... <laughs> I'll just put it like this. I'm not necessarily going to say where I am because I may or may not have legally, you know, seen a bunch of signs that said, you know, trespassing beyond this place may result in a fine of upwards of $5,000, you know, whatever. So I'm just saying I didn't may or may not have seen signs like that and I don't know if I'm supposed to be here, which fun fact, I don't, don't know where here is. I have found seclusion. So congratulations, Garrett. You have done it and you are not at all scared. I just heard it's a, what I'm sure is a gunshot. <laughs> so, oh, that's not great. <laughs> ah! <laughs> oh god. I guess nature can be dangerous. <laughs> right as I say that, a tree just falls off. No, sorry. I, 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 I am. Um, huh. I need help. <laughs> I mean, I'm fine. I'll be fine. If y'all think I'm kidding about being nowhere, I'm nowhere. In fact, I don't think there's a person for what I would assume is miles. <laughs> the only thing I've heard out here is a uh, growl about 40 minutes ago and uh, a, a gunshot. Oh, this is an interesting thing to think about. This footage could be found next to my uh, body, which may or may not be uh, alive and partially eaten by an actual bear. So if this footage is found, I just want to say to anyone out there listening in whatever time in the future, I hope the Blade reboot was good. The Marvel Blade reboot. I've been so excited for it. that in Matrix 4. Oh, and also to my family and friends, I love you. Blah, blah, blah. But yeah, so I know where the Jeep is. Somewhere about, I think, half a mile back there. Um, all my supplies are there, and I, I, I suppose I will find a place to set up my new life out here in nature. But I didn't come out here with nothing. I grabbed some things from the Jeep. Oh, st ouch. Oh my god. I just got stabbed by what I consider to be, well, sort of a grappling hook. Oh yeah, just before I left, I realized how dumb of me. I almost forgot my wand. Or one of them, anyways. That would have sucked, right? How do you signal help? <laughs> how do you signal help? I think I'm lost in the woods. <laughs> I think. <laughs> ouch. Something bit my ass. So yeah, we'll set up camp in a sec, but for now, I'll be okay. I'm gonna walk around a little. I got my whip, a soda water, the cookies. Oh, that's all. I thought I brought more, but that's fine. Everything's in the Jeep, which I, again, know where it is. <laughs> God, oh, my little feet are already so dirty. I don't think sandals were the best footwear choice. Oh, because there's already, yeah, there's already a little bit of blood coming out of one of my toes. That's not great. Okay, you know what? Let's try to get back to the car. <laughs> or get back to the car. Believe in yourself, Garrett. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. <laughs> You're not going to die out here. <laughs> You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> I know where I am, no one worry. <laughs> oh boy. This is what I'm gonna do if I encounter a ravine or like a, a cliff that I have to get over. Imagine there's a 500 foot drop below me. With up and below it is a river full of, of alligators. Watch this. You just, sorry river, not today. <laughs> Ouch. The branches got in my eyes. Ouch. Well, it'll work when it has to work, okay? And don't worry, the tree is very dead. Look, it doesn't have a top. Okay, I don't know where I am, but good as places ever to practice self-defense. <laughs> okay, this is what I plan to do if I see a bear that's not chill. If it's a fine one who just wants to eat honey or hang out, he's cool. If he wants to eat my neck, he gets this. God, ouch. Holy shit. Not that I wanted to have kids before, but don't think it's an option now. <laughs> okay, spoiler alert. I wasn't gonna say it before because I wanted to look very impressive. I do know how to get back to the Jeep because I left a trail of the ginger snap cookies on the floor. So it's gonna be very easy for me to get back as long as a squirrel didn't eat any of them. And if you did, squirrel, I'm gonna be so mad at you. And I'll also die, I'll also die in the woods. So there's that. <clears throat> okay, I'll be back at the car in 10 minutes time. Found the car. Also found a really funny combination of blood and dirt in my hair. Don't worry, it's not a lot of blood, but it's enough. I just really want to take a bath right now, but it's good, it's good, it's good. I'm loving this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I need water. I have the two cans of uh, seltzer. Two cans of seltzer water. That might have not been enough. <sighs> okay. Nothing wrong with wanting to take a little second for gratitude. There's a world where I didn't find the car and that scared me a little bit, but I'm okay. I'll just set up a safe little camp and start my life here in the woods, which I am <laughs> not regretting. I said not. What is wrong with you? I'm happy out here. This is what I wanted. I'm gonna go set up my new life because that's what, who I am now. Oh God, the sun is going down very quickly. Now I'm racing against the darkness. I have to get my shelter set up quick. <laughs> this is gonna get real spooky real soon. Uh. This is, uh, this is no longer quirky. I'm very scared and it's getting really dark. Okay, new clearing with slightly better light. I have to pitch my tent or I'm doomed for the night. <laughs> a poem, an accidental poem. I just have to pitch my tent now. I remember how to do this. 
Oh my god. Okay, I can't with all these poles. Okay, that's the tent for now. I need I need the other essentials. Okay, now that is sure to scare any bears or serial killers that want to come around and get me. Not next to my <laughs> tent. <laughs> Okay, sorry it's freezing right now, it's like 40 degrees. Let's take a look at my beautiful, cozy little camp. Even though I'm so scared I can hardly talk. Oh, let's hope that it looks nice and inviting. Hey, can I come clean w with you about something? I really am scared right now and I hate this. It's very cold and I don't know what to do right now because I am in a dinosaur play tent made for little boys to play with in their living room. <laughs> this sucks. <laughs> Dude, I swear, don't act like you didn't just hear that zombie. Did you? <laughs> I heard a wood zombie, I know it. Or which, I didn't even think this was gonna be a scary video. I thought this was gonna be peaceful. I thought it was gonna be like zen as hell. I'm really scared, but I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> okay, I can compose myself enough to get one thing done out here. I had the little spider in the coffin that was my windowsill friend, remember him? I can do that one thing. I intended on doing more things, but I can get one thing done in the blistering cold even though I'm really scared and I can't feel my fingers. I can bury my little pal. And if I am seen doing that by anyone, I don't know, a forest ranger that gets like a call about like a man in the night, like illegally on some property, burying something with all the skeletons. I'm for sure gonna get arrested. And then I'll have to show him this video as evidence. And then he'll be like, hey, what, dude, what are you doing? This was like a really weird video idea. And I'll be like, I know. <laughs> I'm gonna go bury my spider. I can't feel my toes, and I'm not gonna get back in that tent. <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> it's too cold. I feel like I'm gonna die. I am a guy who is stuck in the woods. <laughs> An original musical about my current situation. I thought this was a good idea, but I've actually learned that it was very shit. I want Taco Bell more than I've ever wanted anything. I am super hungry and very cold, cause I buried a friend, did nothing. Injured myself, got dirty, now I want some Taco Bell. I want some Taco Bell, cause I've already ran out of food. I'm not gonna lie, I'm thinking about Taco Bell, but that's like a hundred miles away. But who cares, cause I got gas in my Jeep. Yeah, my friend, could you add lettuce to that bean burrito? Would that be all right? Thank you so much. Oh, this makes so much more sense to both of us. Oh, good Lord, this was a good choice. We did the right thing here today. Thank you so much. Have a good one. That, this is, this is, this is a good choice. <laughs> You know, when I look back at everything that I learned in this video, do you know what comes to mind? Very little, very little. And right now I feel as though I'm covered in so much dirt, bit of blood, and maybe some insects. Who's to say? Oh boy, did I last out there in nature for as long as I thought I would? Honestly, on some level, yes. I think that that is as long, yes. I think that that's true. And you know what, honestly, listen, I know this video has been very silly, but if there was a lesson that I might have learned a little bit maybe, it's that I do actually really, really like the modern world. And sometimes I think I just need to realize that I need to do it better. I need to live in it better. Cause yeah, it wasn't very productive what I did. Cause you know what doesn't get your car or fridge or phone fixed? Dying alone in the woods. It doesn't help anything. And you just gotta figure it out. It doesn't help to run off into the woods and almost die. I almost got eaten by a bear, I think, and you can't prove that I didn't. But for what it's worth, I'm pretty glad that didn't happen. And I, and I hope you are too. Although let's admit it would have made for a more interesting video. All right, let's be real. <laughs> Also, please no one go off into the wilderness alone. That was actually very stupid of me. It was, it was dumb. It was bad and I'm a bad boy. 
All right, I'm gonna go shave and do things to clean my body somehow. The next time you see me, I will look differently. I will, I will be more human, okay? And more together. I'll be great. I'm doing fine. And I hope you are too. Really appreciate you. I'm very happy and that you watch, that you want to be in my mind and watch the things that I make. It really means a lot to me, and I'm always trying to be better at it. So thanks for sticking with me all the time. Also, you can always catch me between uploads right here at Garrett underscore Watts on Instagram and Twitter and TikTok and the things, all the things. And say hello, send me things. Just like spam me with pictures of bugs or animals or anything like that. I love things. I love everything. Oh yeah, and I do have a question for you. I always like to ask questions in my videos because I get very in the comments in my videos, very. Um, but I want to ask you, I've been asking everyone in my life this recently for some reason. I think because they've meant a lot to me and what I mean by they is comfort movies. <laughs> I know it seems very off topic, um, but what is your comfort movie? Um, mine? <laughs> I th and by the way, a comfort movie doesn't have to be cool, okay? Like, it doesn't. <laughs> my comfort movie I think is like, well I have a lot, but I think it's like 50 First Dates <laughs> with Adam Sandler and Drew Barrymore. I love that movie. <laughs> it's very sweet to me. Oh, that or Coco. Oh my God! Or Harry Potter 1 and then the other seven films that they made after that. Uh <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna chill and also bathe. I really do appreciate you. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you to Skillshare too, guys. Really check them out. Their link is in the description. And I really do love Skillshare. They're very cool and good. And I appreciate them. <clears throat> and I appreciate you. And I am going to go fix this to the best of my abilities. And also everything else in my life. Also to the best of my abilities. Oh my God, Garrett, shut up. Stop talking. Bye, bye love you, see you, goodbye.